ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test. This is Season 2 of K-Check. Hello everyone, I am Jules Bia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong iniimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning but this time with my new co-host from NCPAG. Yan po ang question natin today mga contestants. <laughs> NCPAG, the National College of Public Administration and Government. That's right, Attorney. Thank you so much for having me here. Welcome. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Kayanin kaya nila ang ating brain workout for the season. Kaya samahan niyo po kami until the final week of competition dahil may tatanghalin na naman tayong panibagong K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Judge is a UP Diliman student who one day hopes to be part of the local drag scene. He also loves traveling and exploring new destinations. Si Ray naman ay isang visual communication student ng UP Diliman College of Fine Arts whose joy comes from drawing, food, and anything Pokemon. STI Kaloocan IT student Neb counts playing online games and playing guitar and bass as hobbies. And Charm is a fine art student in UE Kaloocan, a gaming and doll enthusiast who listens to Taylor Swift and Twice. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Nagbabalik Professor Glezia Tienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Nagbabalik din Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And of course, let's welcome Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, I wish you all good luck as we go into our first round of this new season. Get ready to buzz in, hopefully with correct answers, which are worth 10 points each. Round 1, let's begin. What Central American country did Shamie's Palacios represent when she won the Miss Universe pageant in 2023? Juj. Nicaragua! <laughs> K-Check. In mythology, which Roman messenger of the gods is sometimes depicted holding a medical net? Mercury. K-Check. Which movie starring Margot Robbie earned more than $1.4 billion in the box office worldwide in 2023? Charm. Barbie. K-Check. In local basketball, which school's knights and squires won the NCAA men's and juniors basketball titles respectively for the 2022 to 2023 season? Juge. Letran. Letran, Kaycheck. Question number five. Which superhero created in 1938 has kryptonite for his weakness. Charm. Superman. K-check. Next, which Korean pop group is performing in the Fate World Tour that includes a stop in the Philippines? Walang K-pop enthusiast. The answer is N hyphen. We learned something new today. On to the next question. In recent events, which former senator was freed on bail in November 2023? Juge. Senator Laila De Lima. Senator Laila De Lima is correct. Okay, check. Next question. What long-running animated sitcom stars male characters Homer and his son Bart? The Ray. Simpsons. The Simpsons is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. X 
is the new name of which famous social media service? Charm. Twitter. Twitter. K-check. Question number 10. Melbourne is the second most populous city in what country? Charm. Australia. Australia. K-check. What number is exactly between 12 and 20? Charm 15? again. Mali. Neb. 16. 16 for the win. K check. What single digit number appears in the controversial protocol license plate issued to the members of the House of Representatives? Juge. Zero. Mali. Neb. One. Mali pa rin. Two. Ray. Two. Mauubos na ang numbers natin. Mali. Four times the charm. Four. Four. Mali pa rin. <laughs> the correct answer is A. And that's it for our first round. Thank you so much, Attorney Gabby. So after that round, we have Charm in the lead with 40 points. Followed by Judge with 30. Neb with 20. And Ray at 10. Well, ikaw naman ang tatunin ko. Kamusta na? Diba? Dahil bago ko nga dito sa K-Check. And what do you think of today's contestants? At nakikisagot ka rin ba? So, Siyempre, watching our contestants sa kakatuwa na may nasuscore pa rin sila. Oo, Kahit pa, kasi, kahit kasi, ibang question. Oo, kasi yung mga questions natin, talagang ang range, ang scope niyan, yes. napakalawa. Simula pa lang yan ang competition natin. When we return, si Jules naman ang isasalang natin in round 2 here on K-Check. K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Attorney, pika po na tayo ng mga scores natin. Nangunguna pa rin si Charm with 40 points. Nasinunda naman ni George ng 30 points. Si Neb with 20 points at si Ray with 10 points. Well, before we continue with round 2, Professor Neil and Prof. Glessy, how does it feel to be back on our panel of experts on Season 2? Well, miss na miss ko na ang mga math questions na hindi ko nasasagot. <laughs> At sana ay makasagot ako at least isang math question kada episode. <laughs> Prof. Glessy? Hello, maraming salamat. Actually, ako din, ganun din. Excited ako kasi ang dami kong natututunan dito kahit na hindi math. <laughs> Iba-iba. Kaya excited ako. Thank you. Well, it's nice to have you back, but hindi lang po si Jules ang wini-welcome natin dahil gusto rin natin i-welcome Si Professor Marla, who is new to our panel of experts this season. Uh, thank you, attorney. I'm so happy to be part of K-Check. Uh, yung questions ko, of course, merong challenging. Meron din namang K-Lang. Pang K-Check talaga. <laughs> Pwede palang category din yung K-Lang, no? Okay, so maraming maraming salamat po sa warm welcome natin. Mm-hmm. And now, it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you know very well you will lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. This is round two. Let's begin. Question number one. Jonathan Swift created which literary character who visited Lilliput and the Yahoos among others? Charm? Well, uh, Pocahontas. Pocahontas, Mali. The correct answer is Lemuel Gulliver. In science, Element 111 was named after which physicist who discovered X-rays? The answer is Wilhelm Röntgen. King Charles III of the UK fated which Korean music group in Buckingham Palace last November? 
Blackpink, Rosie. Fan ka ng Blackpink? Nakompleto mo pa yung buong uh, mga members sila. The correct answer is Blackpink. Please check. Next question, number four. Which great German composer became famous for his Symphony Number no. 1 in C Major and his Emperor Concerto? Neb. Beethoven. Beethoven is correct. K-check, Ludwig van Beethoven. Los del Rio became a famous one-hit wonder when their song topped the charts for 14 weeks. What is the title of their Spanish number one song? The answer is Macarena. Alam niyo pa ba yung steps ng Macarena? Sample mga Ray? Walang plus points, sorry. Pero thank you for doing that. Okay, proceed tayo sa ating next question. Which congressman from the 3rd District of Negros Oriental was expelled in 2023? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Arnolfo Tevez. What Olympic sport similar to baseball is played with a larger ball and the pitches underhand? Ray. Round net? Round net is male. Good. Golf? Golf is male. At walang nakakuha ng tamang sagot, the right answer is softball. No Time to Die is the 25th film in the movie series having which main character? Char. Uh, James Bond. James Bond is correct. Paycheck. In the TV series, Jenna Ortega played the title role of which character whose name is also a day of the week? George? Wednesday. Wednesday? Wednesday is a correct answer. Paycheck. Which Serbian tennis champion defeated Daniel Medvedev in the final to win the 2023 U.S. Open men's title? Walang nakakuha ng tamang sagot. The correct answer is Novak Djokovic. In basketball, what team nicknamed the Elasto Painters first played... Neb. Rain or shine? The correct answer is rain or shine. Click check. Question number 12. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is a prequel. Yes, Ray? Hunger Games. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is a prequel of which film franchise? The correct answer is The Hunger Games. Click check. And that's it for round 2. So after that round, we have Neb in the lead with 60 points, Charm with 50, Juj with 40, and Ray with 30 points. Congratulations, talagang nagkakabulan silang lahat. Pero ika nga nila, hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check, Attorney Gabby. So ngayon, Attorney Gabby, kamustahin na natin ang ating mga contestant. Well, actually, ang gusto kong tanongin, first of all, itong si Juge at saka si Neb. Kasi medyo unusual ba ang mga pangalan nila? Mm -hmm. So gusto nating tanongin, ano ba ang pinagmulan ng mga pangalan ninyo? Unahin natin si Neb. Um, so yung name ko na Nebron Lesnar, uh, yung Nebron nagsimula siya sa... Uh, Pangalan ng tatay ko na Norben, which is in upside down lang. Tapos yung Norben naman, yung history nun, uh, galing yung sa lola at lolo ko na yung lola ko yung naman is Norma and yung lolo ko is Ruben. Parang pinag... Mm. Tapos yung Lesnar naman is sa nanay ko kasi Rensen yung pangalan niya. So what about you, Juj? Um, my name po, yung Juj, is a combination of my two grandfather's first name. Um, yung sa father side ko po kasi, Gerard yung pangalan niya. 
Tapos yung sa mother side ko naman ay Zuber. So doon na kinuha yung dalawang mm -hmm. yung Zuber sa kayo yung Gye sa simula. So, And I'm, yun, sure, I'm sure maraming uh, nagkakamali uh, sa pronunciation ng Nihon. Ako, yung true pronunciation <laughs> talaga po nun ay Juji. Pero nung bata po kasi ako, parang yun, pa-shortcut na lang. Uh, Juji. Okay, very interesting. Pero siyempre yung isa pa natin kasama dito na contestant at or ni si Charm. Di ba kanina nabanggit natin na nangongolekta siya ng mga dolls. So dolls? Charm, ano bang dolls itong mga kinokolek mo at anong era yan? Uh, yung mga dolls na kinokolekta ko is from the Barbie Cinematic Universe which is from the 2000s until 2010. Yan yung mga movies sa gaya ng Princess and the Popper, Diamond Castle. Dream Musketeers. Ang favorite ko na doll na kinolekta ko is the two from Diamond Castle which is si Leon at Alexa po. Pero may question ako para kay Ray kasi medyo nabitin ako dun sa bio niya. Ray, sabi mo na you are on a journey to heal your inner child. Na naitutulong ba ang Pokemon sa journey na ito? <laughs> well, of course yes kasi part of my childhood is nag around a lot of cartoon characters. Well, may nickname nga is Mickey eh. Kaya di ko may Mickey Mouse. So, uh, malaki ang impact nito sa aking journey because lahat tayo, we have the chance to relieve our childhood through this means which is Pokemon or, or other cartoons. Ayan, so I guess babalikan ko na rin yung mga Pokemon ko okay. para mabalikan na rin natin yung inner child natin. So anyway, maraming salamat sa ating mga contestants. Sana ay nabawasan ang inyong mga nerves. Pero recap muna tayo sa ating scores. In the lead pa rin si Neb with 60 points. Nasinunda ni Charm with 50. Si Judge with 40. At si Ray naman na may 30. Okay, so syempre meron pa rin, may chance pa rin yung iba na makahabol. Dahil dito na tayo sa ating next round, ang ultimate Pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 50-point deduction for wrong answers. And to shake things up a bit sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang ating mga katanungan. So, this is it guys. Good luck. Let's begin. Question number one will come from Professor Glessy. Hello. In the field of cultural studies, This 12-volume reference material has the most extensive information on Philippine art and culture. What is the name of this collection? A. The CCP Encyclopedia of Philippine Art B. Vocabulario de la Lengua Tagala C. Tuklas Sining and D. Filipino Almanac Charm. Letter C. Tuklas Sining The answer is wrong. Neb. The answer is letter A, CCP Encyclopedia of Philippine Art. The answer is correct. The CCP Encyclopedia of Philippine Art has the most extensive information on Philippine art and culture. It has two versions. The other most recent one has been updated and it was done by the team led by Dr. Nicanor Tiongson. Thank you so much, Professor Iglesi. Up next, Professor Neil. What city serves as the regional center of Soxargen or Region 12? A. General Santos B. Kidapawan C. Coronadal D. Takurong A. Hey, General Santos The answer is wrong. Jude C. Coronadal Ito ay ang kabisera ng probinsya ng South Cotabato. Mayoria ng mga naninirahan sa lungsod na ito ay nagsasalita ng wikang hiligay nun. Isang tradisyonal na tawag sa lugar na ito ay Marbel. Ang tamang sagot ay C. Si Coronadal Kaycek. Thank you, Professor Neil. Up next, Professor Marla. Which of the following is the smallest unit of matter? A. Atom B. Molecule C. Electron D. Cell Nap. A. Atom From the Greek word that means indivisible, atomos, the answer is A. Atom. Okay, check. Question number four, back to Professor Iglesi. It has been recently referred to as the Tiger City of Metro Manila. What is the name of this city? A. Mandaluyong City B. 
City of Manila C. Tayuman City D. 9 de Pebrero I think the answer is letter B, Manila. Wrong. Jude. The answer is A, Mandaluyong. The answer is Mandaluyong City. Okay, check. Check, okay. Next question, Professor Neil. Who was the quintessential Bicolano hero during World War II? A, Simeon Ola. B, Jose Maria Pangaliban. C, Jose Ignacio Pawa. Wenceslao Vincent. Charm. Letter B, Jose Maria Panganiba. The answer is wrong. Neb. I think the answer is letter A, Simeon Ola. The answer is wrong. Ray. The, letter, the correct answer is letter C, Jose Ignacio Pawa. The answer is wrong. Huge. The answer is the Wenceslaus ang bayaning ito bilang pinakatanyag na leader aktivista sa Universidad ng Pilipinas bagong ikalawang digmaang pandepe. Nagsilbi siyang leader ng UP Student Council at editor ng Philippine Collegian. Ipinangalan sa kanya ang gusaling para sa mga gawaing pagmag-aaral sa UP Diliman. Pumanaw siya sa kamay ng mga Hapon noong World War II. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Wenceslao Vincent's K-Check. Thanks, Professor Neil. Up next, Professor Marla. What does the acronym URL stand for in the context of web browsing? A. Uniform Resource Locator B. Universal Reference Link C. Unified Resource Locator D. Universal Research Link Charm. Letter B, Universal Reference Link. The answer is wrong. Neb. I think the answer is letter A, Uniform Resource Locator. This is the string of words, letters, and numbers that you can see at the top of any web page. URL stands for A, Uniform Resource Locator. Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Marla. Up next, Prof. Leslie. Buhayin natin yung inner child na yan. Usapang pagkain. Okay. This sweet confection is prepared with flour, sugar, sesame seeds, and vanilla. What do you call this Filipino delicacy or candy from Bulacan? Letter A, belekoy. Letter B, tira-tira. Letter C, biskuit sadya. And letter D, bistek. Ray. Letter A, belekoy. The answer is belekoy. Okay, check. Basel, Bern, Lausanne, and Zurich are cities of what country in Europe? A, Austria. B, Czech Republic. C, Germany. D, Switzerland. Jude. C. Germany. The answer is wrong. I think the answer is letter A, Austria. The answer is wrong. I think the answer is letter B, Czech Republic. The answer is wrong. Ray. I think the answer is letter B, Switzerland. Ang bansang ito ay nagsilbing katuwang ng Pilipinas sa peace process sa Mindanao. Nestle at Novartis ay ilan sa mga kumpanya na nagmula sa bansang ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Switzerland, Kecha. What is the term used to describe microscopic algae and photosynthetic bacteria found in marine environments? A. Phytoplankton B. Zooplankton C. Necton D. Benthel Nem. I think the answer is letter A. Phytoplankton 
These organisms' role as primary producers is important for water-based ecosystems because they provide a main source of food for primary consumers such as clams and crustaceans. They are the A, phytoplankton. Okay, check. Thank you. Next, Prof. Jesse. Oh, comedy naman at saka kantahan. She played Sebya in many comic movies starring Mangnano and Bentot. Who was this famous queen of Kundiman? Letter A, Silvia La Torre. Letter B, Eugene De La Torre. Letter C, Silvia Garde. And letter D, Sara Jeronimo. Ray, I believe the answer is letter A, Silvia La Torre. The answer is A, Silvia La Torre. K, check. Who was the Philippine president that facilitated the proclamation of our niece as national sport and martial arts? The choices are as follows. A. Corazon Aquino B. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo C. Ferdinand Marcos D. Fidel Ramos Ned, I think the answer is letter D. Fidel Ramos The answer is wrong? Jude. I think the answer is D. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo Siya ay naging pangulo bunsod ng EDSA DOS Siya ay naging kontrobersyal dahil sa Hello Garcia scandal Ngunit pinalakas niya ang ekonomiya ng bansa matapos ang EDSA DOS Ang tamang sagot ay letter B Gloria Macapagal Arroyo K. Check Thank you Next, Prof. Marla What is the function of transfer RNA or tRNA in protein synthesis? A. Provides energy for protein synthesis B. Carries amino acids to ribosomes C. Transcribes DNA into RNA D. Catalyzes protein formation Ma'am? I think the answer is letter B. Carries amino acids to ribosomes Their functions have expanded to include roles in the synthesis of bacterial cell walls the replication of viruses, and even the control of animal behavior. However, tRNAs are mainly known to B. Carry amino acids to ribosomes during protein synthesis. Hey, check. As we can see, with a final score of 150 points. Congratulations to Neb. Yay! Congratulations, man. Okay, so we'll see him again this Friday, okay, when they compete with the other winners for a spot for our semi-finals. Thanks again to Juge, Ray, and Charm for joining us, and to the members, of course, of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. This is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And I'm Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another episode of K-Check. K -Check.